Nothing that you've been through is a surprise to God. And so you've got to keep yourself from getting bitter and falling into that dark hole of depression. I don't, I don't think you are, but you know the, the, the scripture says that God has written every page in our book. And the good news is our life, if you'll stay in faith, it'll end in victory. But you may be in a page right now that's a, that's a tough page like you are, but my, my, my challenge is don't get stuck on that page. Turn the page. You keep moving forward. God will bring the right people across your path. Look at, you know what? I'm sorry. I'm not a body language expert. This, this woman did not hear what she needed to hear. Perhaps she got a little saccharine. She got a little band-aid. And she forced herself to applaud due to the peer pressure around her. But she didn't hear what was needed. What kind of a pastor does not have the perception to realize this woman is hurting? This woman even sounds broken, and she needs some gospel salve, some gospel balm. Maybe a pastor who doesn't know the gospel. I, how can you? I mean, it was right there. And it is, would be with joy that he should proclaim to her, Come unto him, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and he will give you rest. Honestly, I, I'm, I'm, as I speak, I am forcing myself to not be exercised over this, and yet the evangelical church is not. And I know how it stacks up. I, I look like the meanie. Okay, I, I guess I'll, I, I'm a meanie. For pointing out that a woman who is hurting didn't hear proper theology to be applied to her situation, so that she could have her sins forgiven and have everlasting life? He's the nice guy? Where, where's our indignation?